recently, I've been having pickle rolls, which is like all the coffee and a little bit of milk. But I normally have a latte. I never make coffee at home anymore because I don't have a coffee machine. And frankly, I can't be stopped. So I've been buying these two liters of coffee. I can copy. It gets the job done. But there's something holding on in the way of being long gone. <laughs> but I I need this much coffee. So, it's the weekend and I haven't really got an idea about what type of video. I thought that's really cool. That's a really good um, example of what I want to talk about today. And that's not having content ready to go because you have been so busy making content. And sometimes it's okay just to stop and not make content for a little while. Last week was raining and it was terrible and I wasn't feeling it. I keep coming up with excuses about why not to make a video. And there's no space, the weather's rubbish, I don't know what to do. And so I didn't make a video for a week. And even though I was down about that, I can remind myself that it's okay. It's okay to have a week off. Last year, I was only doing one video a week. And this year, I'm trying to do two videos a week. But last week, I only managed to put up one video that week. And I already felt pressure. And that's pressure that I put on myself. Nobody else said, hey, you have to make two videos a week. That's something that I did. And when I didn't do two videos a week, I was so, well, I was so depressed. But I was, I was pissed because of like, I need to make two videos a week. Because I told myself I need to do two videos a week. It's really all about perspective. And remember who's putting those pressures on yourself. If you, if you say you need to do three videos a week and you only end up doing one, you're going to feel bad because you said that you're going to do three. So remember, if you don't do what you were planning to do that you wanted to do, then that's okay because those are your requirements and they're important to stand by because that's how we do better and make more be consistent. But at the end of the day, if these are just your your benchmarks, then don't beat yourself up too much when you don't make them because otherwise you're just going to drive yourself nuts. So that's why there was a bit of a gap last week with only the one video because the weather here was terrible when I wanted to go out. I didn't have any way to go out and I didn't have any content. So, um, I guess my point is, whatever you're doing in downtime, remember that's important too. If you spend time with your family, or you play video games, or maybe your hobby is photography, and you do that in between your jobs. Like, these things are all important. So don't, like, don't try and kill yourself, try to chase a Peter McKinnon or a Casey Neistat. Because when you compare yourself to something so bigger than you think you are, even though you're exactly the same as them, just in different stages. But when we compare to other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, YouTubers that have money and a system and sponsors behind them, that's when we're gonna get into trouble and we're gonna get unmoving or give up so don't give up and remember to go and play 
a game or spend time with your wife or your kids or your husband. Have a coffee. Have 12 coffees. I love coffee. I love coffee so much. Remember to have a wonderful weekend. It's Saturday today. Did you have a good Valentine's Day yesterday? We don't we didn't do much because our anniversary is so close together. So this is just a quick video to say you're doing well and it's okay to take a break and if you need to take more breaks, then take more breaks. You will get to where you need to be in your own time. Have a great weekend. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And you got spoiled, and if you didn't, maybe you want to share, show yourself some, maybe you want to show yourself some self-love and take some time away from the work or the YouTube or whatever. And have a great weekend. It's beautiful weather today. And if you like what I do and you do what I like, remember to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Do people go on Tinder on Valentine's Day even though like Tinder is meant to be for like a one-off or do they avoid Tinder because they don't want to send the wrong message of you know hey I'm looking for someone to spend my 45 years with.